Hi, Joanna here. This is my Babylon Burning Revelation. When I began doing homeless ministry in 1991, the people all wanted to talk about the last days, or end times. The pre-tribulation rapture doctrine, which I believed to be false, was being widely preached and accepted by many as unquestioned truth. Kind of like global warming. I wonder if there's a connection. Something to think about. I spent the next 20 years reading the Left Behind series, Hal Lindsey's Late Great Planet Earth, anything else I could get my hands on about end times. The predictions before Y2K continue today about economic collapse and great tribulation, but all have been proven false, or at least their timing was off. About 15 years ago, I was praying with a friend and I stopped and told her that I thought that God was telling me to call in the remnant. <clears throat> I had no idea what that meant or where I was supposed to call them in from or into. But she said, do it. So I called in the remnant from the north, south, east, and west, all over the earth. I have been church hopping for 35 years and been to, I think, about 25 churches. You can read about my adventures in my second book, Calling in the Remnant. I even spent five years in the Mormon Church, since at the time I respected Glenn Beck's love of God and decided that Mormons were Christians. They are also called the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I never realized that there was a whole church about people who believed we were in the last days. But again, I was disappointed with the church, turned in my temple recommend and left. Grasping for the pieces of the truth I felt I was missing, I started to believe that anyone that is confessing Muslims, Jews, Hindus, Buddhists, Mormons, Catholics, Protestants, Jehovah's Witnesses, etc., who love God with all their heart could be saved. That God was looking for a broken and contrite spirit not a religious person. I revisited the book of Revelation and this is what hit me. Revelation 14.8 says, Fallen is Babylon, the great which made all the nations drink the maddening wine of her adulteries. Okay, if we are the bride of Christ and he is the bridegroom, then it is the bride that commits adultery, obviously, since Jesus never sinned. Revelation 17.5 says, This title was written on her forehead, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of prostitutes and of the abominations of the earth. I saw that the woman was drunk with the blood of the saints, the blood of those who bore testimony to Jesus. Who killed Jesus? The church. Who persecutes true believers today? Churches. Revelation 17.9 talks about the seven hills. Apparently Rome has seven hills, so many people think Babylon is Catholicism and the Pope and Vatican City, but I don't think so. When I left the Mormon Church in 2016, I felt like God said to come out from among them. Revelation 18.4 says, come out of her, my people, and continues that Babylon is fallen and she has become a home for demons, the kings of the earth who committed adultery with her see the smoke of her burning, and weep over her, and cry, Woe, woe, O great city, in one hour your doom has come. So, I believe that Babylon is all religions. All religions have committed adultery with the world and persecuted true believers, true lovers of God. Relig religious people are lovers of self, lovers of money prideful, self-righteous, and hypocritical, lovers of power. I could go on. I don't know how God is going to burn up all religion in the world so he can love on his children, but I guess he knows what he's doing. Actually, I know he does, and maybe we don't really need to know too much about what is coming anyway. The plagues in Egypt, when Moses led the Israelites out, is scary enough for me. Again, heavy stuff. Plenty for now. Love, Joanna.